welcome to the Energy Geek. Last time on the Energy Geek, I showed you how you could bring high quality sunlight into your home using sun tubes. Unfortunately, we still need electric lighting in most houses, so in this episode, we're going to take a quick look at high efficiency lighting. If you've ever shopped for energy efficient downlights, you've probably purchased one or two of these. These are reflector bulbs with little compact fluorescence in the middle. The reflectors are there in an attempt to point the light down. You might have bought one of these, which looks like a normal bulb, but in fact it has a compact fluorescent inside of it. These are typically under $10 and you can get them in dimmable format as well. So they're a relatively cost effective solution for energy efficient lighting. However, they do have the downsides of fluorescence that we're all used to. Here we've got a Cree LR6 12 watt dimmable LED bulb. You can see it has massive heat sinks on it which are needed to dissipate the heat so that the LEDs don't burn out. In addition, it has a standard Edison bulb screw base so that you can use it in most normal fixtures, but check with the manufacturer's documentation. This is a hefty bulb with a necessary retaining clip in order to hold it into the fixture. You have to push the bulb right into the fixture, it latches in and holds it in tightly. The unit has a nice attractive white bezel and a diffuser which works really well for illuminating whatever is down below it. It provides a nice light that's not glaring. You'll notice that this is all one piece, so it's airtight. If you use a gasket when you would install it into the ceiling, this results in an airtight seal, which is a big deal for energy efficiency. So you're probably wondering how this actually works. As you can see, it's instant on. So this $100 light bulb works really well. It turns on immediately. Let's compare it with a CFL. That comes on with sort of a dull glow. And this is a pretty good CFL fixture, but it uh, comes on, it takes a while to come up to brightness. We're gonna switch over and look at a incandescent bulb there on the right. Even the incandescent provides a lot less light than the Cree LR6. But what about dimming? We're all used to incandescent bulbs, and they dim beautifully. They can go from almost no light all the way up to maximum light. So as you can see here, you've got the common orange glow from the incandescent as we dim it, and we'll bring up the brightness more and more, and it's a nice continuous function. You get smooth lighting from basically no light up to maximum light. So what about the dimmability of LED fixtures? So we can see it comes on immediately and we try to dim it, it gets fainter and fainter. So it is fairly dimmable, but if you're looking for the incandescent type dimmability that ranges from maximum down to just a dull glow, you're not going to get that with an LED bulb. If you're looking for that, you will be disappointed. So whose fault is this dimming issue? Really it comes down to the dimmer. Dimmers were made for incandescent bulbs. They simply don't work well with high efficiency, low wattage bulbs. And that's why you can't dim fluorescence or LED bulbs very effectively. So until we get dimmers that are actually designed for these low wattage bulbs, we're not going to get very good dimming. But they're coming down the pipe because high efficiency bulbs are where it's at. So ultimately the question is, are these bulbs worth about $100 a piece? If you have 50 recessed light fixtures, you're probably not going to rush out and spend $5,000 to replace all the bulbs. On the other hand, if you have a few high usage fixtures, like you might find in the kitchen or hallways or a playroom that might be on all day long, these bulbs can actually pay for themselves in one to two years. And with rising electric rates, you'll find they pay off even faster. As for their visual performance, these lights cast light that's much better than most compact fluorescent bulbs. The light really is bright white. It looks like sunlight almost coming in. So the light quality is extremely good. On the other hand, if you need mood lighting and you're going to use it with dimmers a lot, I wouldn't recommend it. My recommendation is to try one. See if you like it. And if you do, go to town. Get a whole bunch. They're great. Thanks for watching The Energy Geek.